Good day. Today we will learn about the bleaching monitoring system of the Allen Coral Atlas. My name is Andrea Rivera Sosa from the Coral Reef Alliance, and I would like to thank the Reef Resilience Network bleaching webinar series for inviting me today. So with satellites capturing images of the world's coral reefs, advanced algorithms and machine learning is used for habitat mapping. Working with teams on the ground and local reef data and field expeditions help calibrate and validate the maps. The main mission of the Allen Coral Atlas is to develop the first globally consistent benthic and geomorphic map, and also a dynamic bleaching and turbidity monitoring system of the world's shallow coral reefs. The Allen Core Atlas bleaching monitoring system starts processing satellite images when a region enters a NOAA bleaching alert due to warming waters. Then the Allen Core Atlas measures the brightness of coral reefs in alerted areas in biweekly periods until there is no stress. And it does this by defining a baseline color of the reef area during periods of colder water, and then compares the brightness of reef areas during warmer waters. So as temperatures continue to rise, corals become stressed or bleached, and they lose their color if heat stress continues over time. The Allen Core Atlas has three bleaching categories based on the brightening that's occurring over time, which range from low, moderate, to severe. You can visualize the Allen Core Atlas bleaching monitoring tool if you go to the website. Here, please toggle on the bleaching button to your right and select a date. Data is available starting January 2021. If you also like to visualize the NOAA bleaching alert, which is also on here and is what you can see, uh, make sure you match the dates. You can click on the legend and you'll see that the NOAA bleaching alert area is on and this layer focuses mostly on larger scale sea surface temperature anomalies. Meanwhile, the Allen Coral Atlas focuses on the brightening of reef areas at a 10 meter resolution. And this is why we need to zoom in further to see this layer. Now let's travel to the middle of the Indian Ocean. We further zoom in, we can see the NOAA layer on, but we need to further zoom in. Um, let's go to Port Matherin, this beautiful island. And here we can even further zoom in. So now what you can observe is the um, Allen Core Atlas bleaching level, which is a 10 meter resolution. Um, here we can observe that it has a low level of bleaching. And most important, this layer is only available for the coral and algae class of the benthic maps, which is observed here in purple. So we need your help to validate. By reporting coral bleaching data in your region, you can help us strengthen this tool and benefit reef managers worldwide. Um, all over the world, there's different data synthesis strategies for coral bleaching, um, such as the Indian Ocean Coral Bleaching Reporting Form, which is led by Cordio um, in East Africa. And we're working also with organizations such as Reef Check Worldwide, um, also Reef Cloud, a new platform which uses artificial into intelligence to help analyze photo quadrats of the reef. In addition, we're also partnering with the Mermaid platform, which is an open source application that helps gather coral reef health data worldwide. So your data can help validate the monitoring system via these platforms, but we will be conducting other specific trainings on the validation process, so please stay tuned. If you'd like to know more on how to use different remote sensing products and mapping technologies to help inform conservation, please check out the Reef Resilience Network course. It's available in four languages and you'll find a whole lesson on the Allen Coral Atlas. Thank you again for listening. 
uh, please stay in touch. You can um, have more information via social media, our emails, and you can scan the QR code for links um, um, to all the resources mentioned. Thank you very much.